Hi, my name is Rich Markley. I'm the North American Oscilloscope Product Manager for Roden Schwartz. And today I want to talk to you about our HMO 1202 series of oscilloscopes and give you a quick overview of these products. So the HMO 1202 series um, starts at 100 megahertz of bandwidth. It goes up to 300 megahertz of bandwidth and it's fully upgradable between there. It has up to 2 gig samples of sample rate and up to 2 mega memory standard inside of it. It has a 6.5 inch VGA display, um, a standard ethernet connection you can see here on the back. It also has USB host and device. Um, the ethernet connection allows you to use the integrated web browser inside of the scope. Um, the USB host and device allows you to do USB MTP control um, so you can pull data off easily. It'll connect just like a, uh, a phone or another drive of some sort. Um, update rate on it is 10,000 waveforms per second. Um, it has a very low noise ADC um, with up to 16 bits of resolution when you go into the high resolution mode. Um, has excellent vertical sensitivity up to a millivolt per division and um, lots of integration. So not only does it have the oscilloscope capability and it comes in two channel models with both 50 ohm inputs and one mega ohm inputs, um, but it also has a number of standard features. So one of them is a standard pattern generator. Um, it's up to 50 megabits per second has a standard function generator that goes up to um, 50 kilobits per second, has a standard voltmeter, has a standard component tester, um, and then it has some optional capabilities as well. So one of them is an eight channel MSO, so eight digital channels. Um, another one is, is it can do decoding and triggering on a number of different serial standards. So things like I squared C, SPI, UART RS-232, um, automotive buses like CAN and LIN, um, and with the serial decoding, you can analyze up to two buses at once, um, and you can do it on either the analog or the digital channels, and the serial decoding, the MSO channels, etc., they don't steal any of the um, scope's acquisition memory to, to be able to enable that. And one of the most impressive features of these HMOs is actually how fast they boot. Um, so we'll go ahead and get it started here, and it only takes about 10 seconds for the scopes to go through and boot. And so now we're ready to rock and roll. Um, if you look at the scope, so there's also another um, scope in this family um, of scopes, that's our HMO 1002 series. Um, there's a couple key differences to that one. From a look and feel perspective, they look very, very similar. Um, one of the biggest differences is the HMO 1002 doesn't have a fan. Um, it's also lower bandwidth, so it starts at 50 megahertz and goes up to 100 megahertz, which is where the 1202 starts at. Um, it's upgradable in between there as well. Um, it loses the 50 ohm input, so it's a 1 meg ohm input only. Um, and then probably the, uh, the biggest difference for that one is the pricing. So both of these are um, inexpensive, especially for the capabilities that come with them. But the HMO 1002 is going to start at a little less um, price, and the HMO 1202, because it starts at 100 megahertz, will be a little bit more expensive. Um, the other key difference between them is the HMO 1002 will have half the sample rate and half the memory depth. So that's kind of a quick overview of our HMO 1202 series of scopes and how they compare to the 1002 series of scopes. Um, both of these are designed and manufactured in Europe um, by Roden Schwartz.